off. Sup, bitch tits. So you've been trying to hack into the phone. I don't know why, I don't care why. The only real fact is you've been trying to hack into the phone. I'm almost 100% sure there's nothing in the phone, and if there is something in the phone, you ain't gonna like what you see, but you still want the password to the phone. You tried the breathing trick where you let go <sighs> on the phone. Oh yeah, you tried that. You tried that trick to distract them so that when they leave their phone down wherever they leave it before it actually locks you go into the phone yeah you done tried that but have you tried minding your own business that ain't your phone we together so their business is my business it's our business no that's that's not how that works so if they go out right now murder somebody you gonna spend some jail time with them too? Cause based on that logic, you are accomplice. Cause that's your business. That's that's not that's not just their business. That's your business. If you ain't gonna take the good with the bad, you don't deserve the good or the bad. It's just too bad. Bad happens anyway. What are you hoping to find in the phone? If you need to hack somebody's phone, hey, that means you don't trust them, right? So if you don't trust this person. Why are you with this person? 10 out of 10, I'm 100% sure you're just paranoid. All I'm saying is that if you have to hack their phone to find out anything, you paranoid. Guys, girls, humans ain't that smart. If they was cheating or if they was talking to somebody, you would have known. You don't need to go through nobody's phone to find that out. I'm about to piss off so many guys who be cheating right now. If your boyfriend works, and he's ever home early from work, that nigga cheating. Even if I got an hour off of work, like an entire hour off, like like I'm talking my work shit finished an hour early or even three hours early, I must still be late at home. So you got all this free time, you gonna run home? To the people going, oh, you gonna run home to your girlfriend or boyfriend? Wow. See you all the time. Time to see other people. Which is what? Bleh. Which is most likely what this guy or, or girl or whoever is doing. Now it's not 100% proof, but I'm just saying, most of the time, that's what they doing. Ain't nobody rushing home. Ain't, ain't, ain't nobody happy to see you after work. IGs, ain't nobody happy to see you after work. That's some bullshit. They probably didn't even go to work that day. Took the day off. Pimp, pimp, pimp. Called in work right before they were supposed to show up like, Yeah, I'm sick. I'm sick of your shit. Boss man just talking that crap to you like, yeah man, I feel you man, I'm sick of my shit too. Oh, the hubby or the or, or the wifey been giving you stress? Man, take the day off, B. You gotta chill. You gotta chill. It's almost summer. You gotta chill. That's if like you cool with your boss. If if not, then I guess you wasn't gonna get the day off and you wouldn't be cheating anyway because <laughs> you got work, B. Now this one is 100% full proof. If your girlfriend or boyfriend say some stupid shit on social media like, Oh, I love him, or oh, I love her, but y'all ain't spoke all day. Y'all ain't even really, really, really y'all ain't really even had any, like, eye contact. I ain't saying they cheating, I'm just saying something's up. You should probably check that out. That sound like they subtweeting to me. Like, you ain't really do nothing, but they talking about, oh, you the best boyfriend. Nah. Nah, I'm an asshole. I know I'm an asshole. You bullshit. I suggest you pack your bags. Stop moving back in with your parents because something is up and I don't think it's going to end well. You can end up on the news with like a sharpened toothbrush in your neck. That's practice. That That is something like preemptive jail tendencies. Like they already have the skill set to be in jail. They're ready. They're actually at home right now filing their nails, waiting for the cops to show up like, I was waiting for you. Let's go. Quick prevention strategy. If they ever send you a text message that say, you know what's funny? Take off your phone. Start running right now, cause ain't shit funny. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you've ever gotten that text or sent that text or ever seen somebody get that text because that text is the only proof that somebody's gonna die. It could be spiritually, physically, mentally, all that. They just gonna die. My Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all the description below, son. If you're trying to follow me or whatever.